different types of endosperm that is seen in the nature. There are two types of seed, endospermic seed and the non-endospermic seed. But when it comes to endosperm, there are three types of endosperm. Nuclear endosperm, cellular endosperm, and halobial endosperm. When I say nuclear endosperm, what exactly it means? We have studied two different terms in cell division chapter. One was karyokinesis and second one was cytokinesis. Karyokinesis is nothing but division of nucleus and cytokinesis is division of the cell or the cytoplasm. So in nuclear endosperm, the pen, that is the primary endosperm nucleus, undergoes free nuclear division. When I say free nuclear division, it means it is undergoing karyokinesis. It means there is no cytokinesis taking place. Such type of endosperm where there is only nuclear division taking place, it is called as nuclear endosperm. A large number of triploid nuclei is formed here. All the nuclei will be present suspended in the common cytoplasm. This is very important part. Later on, there might be a possibility of development of the cell wall around those nuclei. But at the initial stage, there is no such cell wall formation. Nuclear endosperm is the most common type of endosperm. One very good example that I can give for nuclear endosperm is coconut water. It has all nuclei present in it. Cellular endosperm. In cellular endosperm, the primary endosperm nucleus, that is the pen, will undergo karyokinesis followed by cytokinesis. So karyokinesis first, then cytokinesis, then karyokinesis, and then cytokinesis. So the endosperm development will occur from beginning. So you need to understand here, the development starts right from the starting, cytokinesis. It is very less common type where the karyokinesis and cytokinesis takes place simultaneously. But if it is seen, it is seen mostly in dicot plants. That is cellular endosperm. Halobial endosperm is a mixture of both nuclear and the cellular endosperm. The primary endosperm nucleus, it undergoes karyokinesis followed by cytokinesis, but only once. The first karyokinesis will result in cytokinesis. But later on, it will be all karyokinesis, no cytokinesis as such. So the first division will result in the formation of karyokinesis and the cytokinesis taking place. As a result, what happens? Two chambers are formed because of the formation of the cell wall. And one will be a large chamber. Another one will be a small chamber. So the two chambers formed in halobial endosperm. The large one is at the micropylar end and the smaller one will be at the chalazal end. So this is halobial endosperm. So in halobial endosperm, you have to remember that karyokinesis followed by cytokinesis is only once. Then after that, all karyokinesis. It is intermediate of nuclear and cellular endosperm. Let us understand all these three with the help of diagram. Halobial endosperm, where it is seen? So it is seen in halobia series of grass family. So it's a grass family. In those seeds, basically, you will see the halobial endosperm. So it's very rare. Remember, the most common type is the nuclear endosperm. So all the seeds that you see around you is all nuclear. You will not find cellular or halobial. Rarely you get cellular or halobial. Now, let us understand all these three with the help of diagram. So what I'm going to do, the very first, we will talk about nuclear endosperm. In this, the most common type of endosperm, there is only karyokinesis taking place. There is no cytokinesis. Karyokinesis, so number, number of multiple nuclei are formed. And since large number of nuclei are formed, what happens? All the nuclei starts floating, or it gets suspended in the common cytoplasm. And later on, there might be formation of cell wall, like coconut water. The young coconut will not have any kind of cream that we say malai. It is not present. 
only water is there later on as the coconut starts aging the cream starts developing or the malai starts developing so it is the formation of cell wall in cellular endosperm look at this the karyokinesis is followed by cytokinesis karyokinesis followed by cytokinesis karyokinesis followed by cytokinesis it is the less common type of endosperm that you see and even if you see you see it in dicot plants so cellular endosperm means the karyokinesis and the cytokinesis both takes place simultaneously not like nuclear endosperm where there is only karyokinesis taking place now in helobial endosperm logically what happens first division will be karyokinesis followed by cytokinesis so due to this now there are two chambers formed the small one is chalaza and the large one is micropyle and what happens after this only karyokinesis takes place you can see only the nucleus is dividing such kind of endosperm is called as helobial type of endosperm and it remains suspended in the cytoplasm so this is all about types of endosperms 